done. Do you not care about us anymore since we are only used as animals? No. Even though I use you for my channel, you are an important value to me, especially you, Simon, since I've played with you so much that you have a choked neck, but this is for love. You are so mean to me since I keep getting hostage by DRO. Don't you want some of that treatment, Simon? Me? What do you mean? I just thought it would fit into the storyline. All of you believe in a fictional country called Dogland, which is an amazing place that you are a part of. We are just traveling in spirit along with maybe a poor rabbit. You are so despicable to kill me with a purple fish as a trap. I was going to call you an animate. I'll send you to the billabong. No way. That's an oxbow leg, and you are one of the most evil characters in Simon Tiv. You don't even represent Australia fully. Say one more thing about me, and I'll send you to an endless pit of hell. I'm Schrodinger's cat, maybe. I guess that you will never know if I'm alive or dead anymore, since I departed from the series. Um, do I care about you anymore? Maybe? Well, I would say your actions are hurtful for Dogland in the long term since we might get invaded by the FBI. Simon, please be more diplomatic. We don't want to be burnt. Okay, I could change a thing or two, and is Governor FBI here since I thought I saw you? Well, at least you kept that American Embassy automated, which I guess is good, since there is not much you can do with that. Well, Americans have so many problems to deal with nowadays. I still don't know when I'll move back to Dogland for diplomatic ties. I could disappear just like all of the other plushies if you want me to. Just stay here for now. I get to make the decision. I guess we can stay for an unstated amount of time since you have no visa policy on this chair. I hate dogs and even dog lovers such as you. Cats always claim they are better than dogs, which is something I agree with. Who is this new person? I'm the owner of Simon TV 17. I wondered how your schooling went. I'm trying to fix that, but I think that the weather may be an issue. See you. Well, you neglected me since you wanted to save staples. Fine, I will use you for other stuff such as homework. End of conversation. You never made your scripts longer than a page except in a few circumstances. You may have never heard my voice, but I was left in a dusty room for many years. Fine, I don't fight for a minute. You created your channel ten years ago. You should never leave us. You raised us and created the content. Well, maybe we should let him create the content for the video. I would like to thank everybody since we reached ten years on YouTube. We have dealt with many success stories and roadblocks along the way. With that being said, I am going to reveal some of my content, and you should watch all the way in for a mention from a YouTuber and a promotion that I am willing to offer. Now that human will be gone for now, we can start. We are from the future. I predicted my future. Great. Let's watch more interesting content. Simon, and we will unbox Simon! How many dogs are called Simon in Dogland? What about the world? So, first of all, we're analyzing this screen package, and... He's going to cut it in! So let's wait for him to cut it in first. We got it. So, the first fur markings are coming out of Simon. Yes, I'm a dog with fur, unlike some weird humans who wear costumes. I guess there are dogs who are four-legged humans since they are bred weirdly, but that's not my problem.
Oh, as we open the package further, we will see Simon's new condition. I have a better condition. It's called Woof. Guess wanna check that Simon out? Oh, he's like stuffed in the coffin! I wouldn't know about that feeling. Maybe ask me after the universe ends since some plushies might last longer than human lives and I can end up in the future of TV such as Antique Roadso. There he is. Hi, I am Simon. The baby edition. Yay! Why are young dogs so untrained and pollute dogland with their markings? They don't even need mates yet or listening to Marvin or need healing. That's disgusting. Since there was a Canadian dog who publicly urinated in Appland a while ago. Now on to the 200 subscriber special, I guess, even though it should be pronounced 200 subscriber spec I cow. I got an F in all classes in America since I never went along with every other recognized country on earth, so I think it would be a good excuse for me. I think Mr. Dinosaur would spell subscribers in a really awkward way as well since Americans are strange. Let's continue. One day in some possible future, Dogland was unstable and the country is about to fall which caused the population of Dogland to leave. However, Penguin Jr. was a hero who can try to save Dogland. Penguin Jr.'s military is not strong enough to prevent ducks from invading, but the scenery is really nice. That's why the Chinese took over Appaland in Season 5 for a little bit, but we can always stand up for ourselves and our allies. Our country is failing, so we need to evacuate the remaining citizens. Everyone has left so far, so you need to leave Dogland now. Simon and I are going to stay in Britain for a while, but you cannot enter the country since penguins are prohibited from entry. I will use the power of computers to escape to reality. Is it possible for the British to become evil in some possible future, such as dog smarter than humans at non-smelling task? I bet we will be picking up human poop and taking humans to the veterinarian instead of medical doctors. Here is a cool video that is made in Dogland. I will leave a comment. That's a good comment since you often appear in my videos. That makes a lot of sense. Well, at least you aren't a bot since penguins don't have internet outside of Dogland. I wonder what happens on the other side of the screen. Wow, this is reality. So I'm free from Dogland. Is this Canada or America? I see a non-English language below one of those signs if you look back enough. I can't read that anyways and dogs can float, which means I'm good. Is he programmed incorrectly? I must reboot him. I'm just a normal human being who can uh, like comment on YouTube videos, but unlike Penguin Jr., I can't uh, I can't predict the future. But I really want to get home. You can just crop any tree three times to get back into Dogland. Here is a fun fact. 
he did clap three times, and this is so much better than a movie of escaping a fictional country made a really long time ago to a place called Kansas. Maybe I should get better equipment, but I have no funding from YouTube. If you don't believe me about this clapping, I have raw footage. You have just fallen asleep, and we have over 200 subscribers now. That is great, so we need to celebrate. We are safer than ever. Yes, we are still over 200 subscribers despite these strange times. And there are sometimes months of losing subscribers. Make sure to like the video as well. If you haven't subscribed to me and watched my videos, at least 50% of you who aren't subscribed, just subscribe with notifications and make sure to like the video. You can change your mind anytime. I'll wait. Well, I feel like we are about halfway through the special of 10 years since so few YouTubers get to celebrate this moment, but we have to get to the California candidates done right for 300 subscribers. <laughs> yes, the warning still applies since political themed videos tend to have weird comment section. I can show you a comment from JJ's fan on this video. Thanks for the comment. J.J. McCullough's videos are pretty interesting if you happen to like his subjects, which are about politics, so you could check out his videos after you're done. I also sent fan mail to him. Hello, J.J. I run Simon TV 17 which is a YouTube channel. I hope you will enjoy these UV pens, which can be used to see hidden security features in most currencies, including American and Canadian currencies. This is a very cool thing to have. As I know from my YouTube friend, uh, Half Asleep Chris, there is a lot of fun things to be seen when you shine a UV pen on money. Let's, there's like a hidden, uh, a hidden sort of flower kind of thing and, oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, look, there's a hidden number 20 here. Oh man, this is awesome. This is hours of fun. Thank you so much, Simon, uh, what was the name? Simon TV 17 for sending me this. This is very, very helpful, very useful thing for me to have, someone of my interest to have. So this is extremely thoughtful and I appreciate it very much. Best of luck with your uh, YouTube channel. So in this segment, I was sent an email asking me to give a little bit of uh, opinion about what, what Simon TV has done for me and for other small creators like me. Simon Tive has been reaching out quite consistently to me to give me opportunities to be featured into his videos so that I can help grow on YouTube. I'm really thankful for that because it's really hard to get started when you're a really small anything on the internet. It's especially hard to get those initial numbers and any numbers as a small creator is huge and I'm really thankful for Simon TV for giving me that opportunity and I look forward to doing more things with you in the future Simon TV. Also subscribe to my channel, I'm getting kind of close to 100 subscribers, cheers, thanks, bye. Let's go back to the shows before YouTubers run over us. As the election season approaches, many new candidates arrive to defeat the established humans. I thought humans are only qualified to become governor. To be fair, not everybody reads constitutions. And there could be loopholes such as changing a dog's name to a human and living to the minimum age of entry, which is 18, due to being required to be a registered voter, living in California for five years, and being a citizen of America, which isn't dogland for five years. Oh, I see why now dogs aren't governor. Hello, I'm a goldfish, and I think it is important for everybody to eat me. That's all I have to say. Hi. Macintosh. Don't buy Windows, since they have some holy problems. I'm going to find the calculated risk of all the candidates losing of 100% due to the failure to meet the criteria. Hello, check out my Snapchat right now. I posted the story there. I qualify since there's no age requirement and uh, in the state, so I qualify under the month section. I think Dogland has better candidates with fewer than 20 people and an unknown amount of plushies and toys unless we are portraying like it's 1999. I mean 2999 since all of us 
are old unless you are a plus C. That's perfect logic. So what are the chances of you becoming the governor? Screw you! I'll just use Terminal to block you out! Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most popular person right now, at least to my mom. I eat stuff, and I can't escape my workplace since my overlords will give me oxygen and move me. A new candidate has just appeared, whose name is Ghost. What are your qualifications, Ghost? I'm a I'm not a goldfish. Help me fight your shocks. I am contacting the fair election overlords for making sure you will get back to me. We're always corrupt free, unlike Californians and maybe those random politicians in Apple Land. Just make sure not to use Cash App, PayPal, or any other money app. And we'll be fine since we can't even make an account with those services. In theory, we could switch to Monopoly money if we wanted if all layers of Dogland government to be bribed. No! I have to have lunch with my friend! I detect the risk of having more runoff elections with the group. Teenagers winning 100%. I am the election official. Ghost was fake. Whatever, I press the button and he is eliminated from the list. For now. We are here to announce these genuine and beautiful choices for this state. We must pray to our best governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, destroys all Skynet. In our state, we trust. From movies to overlord to part robot, we trust them all, just like Texas. As the people begin to hold up signs, they finally have the time to make their final decisions. If California is very proud at this rate, Arnold could control Bavaria, which is part of Germany, if he was a German citizen due to his local accent slash dialect, and he could become the Judgment Day, literally. In theory, Arnold could become governor again, since former Governor Brown has done two terms as governor. Oh, Americans and Californians, what's more to love than a floating portrait of yours truly, Arnold? If there's a Doglander named Arnold, then we have some serious issues, since the Doglander Arnold would be floating next to the Dogland flag, which is supposed to be at the same height as the American flag. You destroy us for the greater good. You shall rise again for governor. We should go vote. I'm the first one. This is so much worse than Russia, since some of those voters are under voting age. There's no registration for voting or any way to prove eligibility. The ballots are very public and are the same as the campaign posters. I bet you didn't even notice the teenage candidate in the background is not voting despite being registered to vote due to the requirements I mentioned earlier. But the teenagers would not even be a candidate, which means we are very stuck. <laughs> At least no ballots were messed around, despite not being sealed and exposed to footsteps. Somebody tried to pick up their casted ballot, which did not affect the election results. This is so reliable. The turnout is very amazing too, since this would be under 1% or about 0.1% if this election took place in Alpine County, which has under 2,000 voters. <laughs> There is a tie in the results of the election. We will speak to the candidates who are running. We what? got Ghost. He's not as qualified. I love not being disqualified because I cannot eat the water. Alright, we'll move on now. I have an issue. I think I may have some corruption. So I can't open my files to speak. I can somehow do stuff like this
like the age like requirement. I can't All remember. your ideas are outdated and you are old. Alright, remember that we have an election in real life. See you. This was a good effort and voting is still important for the future of any country. This shows irony in an election taking place in a small section of California since there would be so much news coverage. Also, how can Goldfish vote or become a candidate if paper dissolves in water and electronic voting is only designed for land dwelling animals? How many people were persuaded to vote based on this video? I know misspellings, and the warning still applies. I wonder if this is better than the remix version, which is also linked below. The first reason we can find this video being age restricted is that there is a lot of cursing. Who's gangweed? We do not encourage drug use in Dogland. Let's move on. This is scary. If you haven't noticed, there's a sign here that says 2021, so you know that this is the current response. Yes, drugs can be viewed as bad, but I won't go into this more due to funding issues. We must be able to flee to Apple Land. No, shut up you dickhead, now fuck off, don't send me another message, fuck off, you little prick, oh, you little... Does Mr. Dinosaur love this curse secretly? Hmm. This shows the deeper aspect of our thinking. I hope not. Cursing is bad and laser warfare is equivalent to invisible guns in Dogland. Have you ever noticed it anywhere? If it's not seen, it's not a problem. Was that recorded? Never mind, I'm just tired. You will never get away from this. We must report this information to the Chinese government for proper backup. Does reporting himself to a dead leader work? I wonder if Doglin will be taken away according to this narrative. I wonder if he chose a random episode to edit. Well, at this pace, reporting to anybody leads to the internet. This is very hard to watch and this shows the invasion of Dogland's freedoms. I also agree with this, but there is a chance there are other ways to take over Apple Land besides the Nat Velcro Reporter. <laughs> ha! Drinking too much soy sauce made Yee's twin insane. No wonder he used to be called Alco Duck. Well, Yi hasn't noticed the various no drinking signs in Dogland since they don't exist. We just know not to drink since drinking leads to some issues with Yi. Is he secretly Al Capone? I wonder how many of you noticed Yi's former name. It is reported that China will not consider Dogland epic. Oh, Ben Sapiro. Despite politics, I know that you played the piano at a young age, which beats me along with most cats. Notice how I said most cats. We are almost ready to invade Apple Land and restore Dogland to its proper glory. We are ready to deploy weapons if we are ready. Getting weapons ready is an amazing tactic everyone. Let's nuke everyone. Is it just me or Penguins Jr's voice sounds like this guy according to our advanced recording software? We don't have that, just not for now at least. At least I think it would cost us too much money for that software along with a specific case for that type of software. Same with us, since we always got you back. It's awesome. Hey, stop! Why? I just don't get it. I always catch you fuckers watching this sick okay. shit. Make sure this that is we are sickening. Able to... FBI, open up! This is why I don't live stream. I wonder if that door leads to eternal chaos. I won't open it for now. This is scary. Sure, the FBI is going to invade Dogland, which regularly pays taxes. Nope, I am not opening that. Yes, we still pay taxes. Nothing has changed on that front. Now shoot IRS as an internal revenue service. My face looked better during the Vietnam War. Are we brave enough for this loud music? Thank god that is over. I have the ability to comment on this though. I can't wait to see the ending. Well, I don't want to see that right now. I might have to cut it out since this video would get age restricted. 
If you really want to see it, see the original video, which I mind you is age restricted. We are ready to sacrifice everything. <laughs> Next, don't want to see this. Well. This is the last video called Simon's Forgotten Story, 500 subscribers special. This was the last special video made, and we still better have the amount since this would be really embarrassing based on the current trends of YouTube. Everybody else is rising, I guess it's my issue. You had a wonderful story about the case of becoming to become the president for Dogland. I'm making a documentary to encourage more Americans to come to Dogland. What do you have to say? I should start my story. Well, when I was first in Dogland, I was dropped off in this country when I was very young. You have achieved a lot. Me watching this video answers that question. Why am I being dropped here? Well, the parents told me to come to school. Maybe they won't like me. What have I done to them? Get back to school. The school is right there. Well, this is ironic. I'm in a country called Dogland, but dogs are actively being oppressed. I need to get education, so we can move forward in this society. What type of sign bans dogs in Dogland? I think that the anti-dog parties were in charge during that time. They have used to ban dog food and force trust into the dog population. Dogland was such a strange place before I came here. Who's this new kid? Ah, who cares? Who cares? I got something that can benefit us. Go get those mutts. Those filthy mutts. Those filthy, feral mutts. Hey. Cats are beings above us. He must be a poo head. Stop! I need you to stun as I have to write the word and socialize like the rest of you. I deserve every opportunity that you can give. <laughs> that seems right. You're the change we need in this country. Go get them. That's right, change. What we needed was equality and success and has been mostly achieved. What's your name? My name is Simon. I know your name is Lyman since I was in class with you a couple of years ago. You like to watch movies. That is a really strange place for meeting a girl dog. I wonder what Lyman was thinking, but rest in peace. We will never know. I do. We'll see about seeing you later. Simon and Lyman fell in love in the movies, and they were a perfect match for one another. Can we move on? Yeah, we'll get back to the story. You finally decide to run for president for Dogland. I need to check if I can even run for president, Reindeer. Go ahead. Apparently the citizens are so sad that no one will win and our nation will fall. I got the paperwork. We'll just deal with this. Let's go. I am the only candidate for Dogland, and the first candidate who represents all dogs in Dogland. I am the best dog ever, and I have plans to get rid of this apartheid in society. A vote for me is a vote for Dogland's progression in society. Thank you. Well, I'm good at public speaking despite being a dog. I wonder what if the other candidates who didn't qualify were Goldfish, Ghost, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Teenage Non-Citizens, and Skynet were in Dogland presidential elections. It would be even more funny if we had a Congress or Parliament with these characters. I need a way to upload my first video. Let me just log into my account, but I still don't have the video ready. I want to be the president of Dogland. What do you think of this, Anna person? 
I know you can't speak, but we are ready to attack Simon for his crimes of being a dog. We have so many things we can use to get him. Go, oh, everyone. We must get external resources to be able to change the results of the election since I have access to this computer. Whoa, I just found out this duck called Alcoduck tried to change the election results due to his anti-dog views. I realized that over 90% of the citizens voted for me. I have the popular mandate to rule over us. I should meet my vice president later. Well, I have achieved a lot in unifying Dogland with Budland and Appleland which are being connected as well as getting more communication with the outside world. That was still a tough race. I am able to make sure Simon will feel the pains of his victory. Despite those evil Doglanders liking him, I even changed his YouTube settings. I would never choose him as network manager and are less important now since I could manage my videos more directly due to expanding creators' access to YouTube. I am the vice president for Dogland now. We are able to control this land together for the best of all citizens. I think we are the best options for Dogland as the only choice. We can talk later about this. That's how my story got started. Thanks for helping me out. Don't forget about your subscriber account. Thank you for over 500 subscribers everyone. I am still uploading more videos in the future. Make sure to subscribe and watch more of our amazing videos. Well, subscriber counts should be high up due to high quality videos on the channel. This is the cream of the crop in terms of plus videos. Make sure to vote on whether you want some Simon TV 17 merchandise in the future in the comment section. Make sure to stay updated for any announcements. Yes, we do have wonderful merch. The link is in the description and make sure to check out for more amazing videos. I guess it would be very difficult to make the best videos on my channel per year, but I would sum it up like this. The early videos were rough, but I had crazy adventures along with various Mario characters. But as the years went on, the videos became more formal with better quality control. There might have been themes in the past that would be very hard to do today, but we always need new ideas. Well, those were good videos to watch despite the chaos that it took to film these videos. Too bad our funding is super low in Dogland which would reduce the amount of new characters. All of you are free plushies. But wait, today's kind of sponsor, Privacy.com. Privacy.com is a website that is able to create virtual credit cards which are treated the same way as using a regular credit card online. But this is resistant to data breaches since if one of the merchants gets hacked, your main credit card and other cards will be safe. You are allowed to cancel the cards at any time to prevent overcharge. Help out with free trials, play pseudo anonymous data to protect your identity, etc. Privacy.com is open to everybody who has an American bank account a U.S. resident, and is at least 18 years old, and Privacy.com has not paid me to make this message. However, if you want to sign up with the referral link, which is in the description, we will both get $5 in Privacy.com credit, which can be spent on anything you want free of charge. Well, that's just that. We are all dormant until the next episode. Too bad I can't fit into my own merchandise.